I'm going to show you how to use ChatGPT to create your own trading bot. This isn't normally doable because ChatGPT isn't updated to the latest version of PineScript, which is the coding language that TradingView uses. But with a little training, I got it to develop working code that you can use to help you trade. It's crazy because somebody would pay thousands of dollars for someone to develop this. I know it's just going to be a simple basic code that we're going to get ChatGPT to develop, but with this, you can kind of see where this is going. If this video helps you at all, all that I ask is that you hit the subscribe button, comment and like the video, and let's get started. Okay, so what I want ChatGPT to do is give me the code in PineScript to get the RSI value over the past 14 bars. Okay, so it gave us this code, which is not the full code. So if I take this, and if you don't know how to open up your Pine Editor, just go to the bottom left, click Pine Editor. It'll open up this, and then we'll just paste in the script. Then we'll add the chart. Wow, and I'm surprised it actually worked right off the bat. This did not work the first time I did it. I had to train it a little bit, but we don't have exactly what we fully want. This actually surprised me. Maybe it's learning from last time. Right off the bat, we already have some working code, but it's not exactly what we want. We want ChatGPT to add it in code that will display the overbought and oversold lines. So we're just going to tell ChatGPT exactly what we want. That works, but that's not the full code i want it to display the overbought and oversold lines let's see what it does all right it gave us some code here but this does not look like the latest syntax of pine script just by looking at this i don't think it's going to work so let's take it and let's plug it in to trading view let's remove our last edition here okay let's just paste it in at the chart and oh my god wait what I'm so surprised. Okay, this is weird. This is actually working. I, I, I'm i starting to think that ChatGPT has learned from people doing this. Either that or TradingView up, updated something because normally you wouldn't be able to use this study function. In version five, they make you use indicator. Now that ChatGPT just nailed that in the first few tries, let's try something else. Let's tell ChatGPT, write me a code in PineScript that draws me a 50 MA and alerts me whenever the price goes above the 50. 50 MA. Let's see what it does. All right, it's drawing up some code. All right, well, let's take this, go in the trading view. Let's see if it'll surprise us again. Let's take out the previous indicator and add to charts. And I am I am stunned right now. I don't know what changed. Trading view or ChatGPT. It looks like ChatGPT is still using old syntax, but I don't know why it's working now. It's very odd, but I mean, it makes it a lot easier for us for sure. Now let's test ChatGPT's limits. Let's tell it to create us some PineScript code that gives us a trading strategy with a good winning percentage. We asked it to do that. It gave us some code, but this time it came with an error. This is how you can easily deal with syntax errors with the help of ChatGPT. So we'll take this code and we will see if that fixed it. And it looks like we're getting a another error. Could not find function or function reference by. Okay, we just do the same thing. We copy that error, go back in the ChatGPT, say, I got this error. And let's see what it says. That error message is indicating that the platform you are using does not support the built-in buy and sell functions. Okay, it's giving us more code. Oh, but this time without the version two. All right, there it goes. Well, it gave us some code, but I don't think this is gonna work because it doesn't have the version two. And yep, it's telling us that. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna simply add that in ourselves because that is an easy fix. So bam and add the chart compiling and it's saying the script must have one study or strategy function call all right well same thing you know the drill we go to chat gpt i got this error and we can even tell it make sure to include the version in this code and we'll put an also in there just to be sure it gets that right okay paste this error in and send it okay so let's see if it fixes the error and also adds in version in this next one. Okay, there we go. It added it in. It looks like we also have a strategy function, which may or may not work. I don't know. All right, let's take that copy and paste that in. Compiling and it took the code. Yep, there it is. It gave us the simple moving average crossover strategy. So that, I mean, that's basically all you got to do if you want to create your own trading bot. Just keep going back and forth with ChatGPT. If it gives you an error, just take the error to ChatGPT and be like, hey, 
fix this over and over and over again. If you want more chat GPT content, let me know in the comments. I've been getting real heavy into AI and chat GPT lately and anything new, I always just want to make a video out of it. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and make sure you follow me on Twitter. Twitter is where I can update you the fastest. I don't have to make a whole video. Go follow me on there. See you in the next video.